What's good, everybody? Welcome back to another little journey with us, another little chat. We are here today. Today we start the hunt for Haldraxxus. Um, and uh, with that, oh, geez, my computer's freaking out. Here we go. Okay. Uh, today, we find ourselves uh, with some brand new characters, some brand new players, and we, uh, well, you guys aren't like new, new, but like this game's new. So, uh, yeah, we, we find ourselves uh, and our characters uh, all headed towards the Flaming Wizard Tavern. Uh, to meet up with the guard, the, the town guard, Philip. Um, one by one, each of you arrive at the tavern. Uh, you all have some sort of connection or knowledge to Philip in, in one way or another. Uh, Why don't we uh, use this uh, little brief opportunity to uh, introduce our characters, starting with uh, who I think might be the the closest to Philip with uh, with Dizzy. Uh. Well, that's that's what I'm gonna call you and refer to you throughout the the campaign. If if there's another, uh, feel free to enlighten us. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, you uh, you you enter into the 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 flaming wizard. Um, immediately notice uh, notice Philip sitting at a a table, looking uh, kind of kind of anxious. Um, and you go take a seat next to him. As as you do, uh, the the door to the the tavern. Uh, flies open once again as a uh, small little Alan enters. Uh, who? Go ahead and introduce your character. Yeah, so uh, who is uh, he kind of comes from the most famous kind of that is the famous kind of he's wonderful uh and so you run up to the 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 table with uh with philip and uh and dizzy sitting there and one wing salute up at him as he motions for you to to take a seat uh he looks like he's about to open his mouth and start to talk um when uh the door opens again as a uh, tall, slender Eldrin kind of walks in. Uh, Sivril, why don't you go ahead and introduce your character? All right, so uh, Sivril is a uh, young, uh, relatively young for a, an elf, uh, a Ladrin, that uh, comes from the Thorn Grove settlement. Um, his his uh, kind were wife mostly wiped out by a large flying beast uh, where he fled to uh, the town of Bi River. Uh, he's kind of a... 
he's kind of just on a quest for knowledge and ways to protect his people. He's a very much a uh, a man of his people. Yeah. Wonderful. Uh, so you uh, kind of scan the room, look over, and you see uh, Philip uh, about to speak to two other individuals sitting at the table. Uh, who You've all seen each other before around town. Uh, you, you're not the closest friends or anything, but he has compiled the, the group of you together. Um, and you all sit there around the table as Philip opens his mouth, begins to speak. He says, Welcome, the three of you. I cannot begin to express how grateful I am that you are willing to help me on this little endeavor. Uh, he explains that the king has no intention of bargaining with this dragon, and I am to relay to you as well the gratitude of his majesty. Haldraxxus is a red dragon, meaning he likely has the ability to breathe fire. He is a bit on the younger side still, but to the city he is still a major threat. Have any of you faced uh, a, a sort of dragon or anything of the sort before? Well, Philip, I think you've known me longer than I've known me. And I think you know the answer to that. And indeed. And I assume the the others, you two have neither faced off with a winged beast? I have a face to face, but I'll do anything for an old friend. You are too kind. And you, young recruit. This is your first mission, is it not? It is, but my family has faced these types of beasts. So I feel like I've, I'm a veteran at this point. Indeed, your name does carry quite prestige. We know the dragon is at home atop the mountains. There is two pathways in which we can make it to the old temple ruins that used to be a part of Bai River, where the Haldraxxus likes to perch. I believe we could catch Haldraxxus off guard but we will need to move quickly. There are two different paths that we can take to get, well, not we, but that you can take <laughs> to get to the old temple. The mountain path or the forest. Granted, the mountain path is dangerous. Merchants and travelers usually avoid it to stay safe. The forest is a much safer route. However, it will take much longer to arrive. Is there anybody that has any questions? I'm first. personally partial to the forest, to judging by my, my clan, but I will take the dangerous route if you think it's the better option to get the drop on him. It definitely will be the, the, the quicker route, I can assure you of that. Let's say you find gentlemen. <laughs> Why do they call the mountain route the dangerous route? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I, to be honest, don't don't travel that way. I'm not entirely sure. Just rumor has it from merchants and and travelers that they avoid taking that route, even though they could move their wares far quicker. I believe some have been robbed, and some have not even made it back. Have any of the merchants that made it back uh, spoke of what dangers they faced? 
merely that there were uh, traps and and uh, all sorts of shenanigans on the the mountain path. Philip, do the people need us to be quick and swift? I believe that there is means for you all to defeat the dragon one way or the other. I will say that if we can catch him off guard, then there's always advantage there. Well, I vote the quickest way. Will the mountain path lead us directly to his lair? It will lead you directly to the temple ruins. From there, you will be able to see him coming, I assume, or leaving. We do not have the specific location of Haldrax's lair, but we do know he likes to come to the the temple ruins. He... He has, uh, he has asked the king to present some sort of tribute, but the king has no intention of bargaining with Haldraxxus. And a tribute to the, the dragon requests. Uh, well, I am not privy to that exact information. I assume gold or some sort of other treasures. You know how dragons are. you all think, but it could be an advantage if we come up with some kind of uh, decoy gift to lure the dragon in out in the open. Maybe we should ask ask around. Do you know what kind of gift a dragon of his caliber would want? It's not knowledge I possess, but we could ask around the town to see if if uh, anyone has more information. Maybe a dragon expert. Perhaps the king, if we could get an audience with him. Philip, would, would you be able to make that happen? Well, I suppose I I could. However, I think this... it I think it might take a little longer than what we would hope to see this done in. Okay, then. Do dragons like sacrifices? I can't say to be entirely sure. Uh, I do know that uh, Philip takes this uh, takes this pretty hefty little sack out of his pocket and <laughs> slams it down on the table, uh, and like a bunch of coins fall out, and he says. Uh, the king is prepared to offer each of you 300 gold to fulfill this quest. Hmm. Uh, perhaps I could give each of you a hundred now. The rest upon completion, of course. Uh, he also uh, pulls out uh, uh, three bottles of uh, red liquid. Says these are three potions for each of you as well. Uh, should something dangerous happen. Can I pause the game for a sec and ask a rule question? Sure. <clears throat> so it says I can ingest contents anywhere, right? You just have to put it into my body and then I dissolve it into me. Mm -hmm. So if I'm not wearing any clothing and they like, let's say, throw a health potion at me, would it count? Like, I don't have to catch it or anything, right? They're just... Uh, yeah, sure. Cool, cool. Just making sure. Okay, continue. Uh, <laughs> uh, he also pulls out a, uh, another backpack, um, and sets it on the, the table there. Uh, he says, uh, there is enough food and water in here for the, uh, a week's journey. Unfortunately, I, this is this is all of the all that I am I'm able to to offer. Hmm. 
Uh, how much is 100 gold, like, to us? Are we, like, as level ones, I've got, like, what, like, 10 copper? Oh, I guess I have 10 gold. Yeah, I mean, it's it's definitely a, a, it's a substantial amount to you. Um, it's not, yeah. look at the yeah. livings table, the average amount of livings is, like, 2 gold a day. And then, gotcha. and that, or that's, like, modest is, like, 2 gold a day. Mm -hmm. So you, that's kind of the basis of how much money's worth. Now, the products that we would want to buy to make us better are going to be a, usually a little bit more than 100 gold. Um, otherwise, you're looking at really basic things, basic weaponry, basic levels of armor. Cool. At least that's how I've always viewed, like, the cost of living, let's say, if you're trying to, like, view it as a metric. 100%. We'll look at it in terms of uh, healing potions. That's that's two healing potions. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You get two healing mm -hmm. potions for 100 gold, which feels like very little. Awesome. Well, I suppose we should uh, get going and uh, make haste. I I wish you the best of luck in this in this journey. Uh, I'm afraid I must go. Is there any any questions or anything that I could answer before I take my leave? You've been most helpful, Philip. It is the least I can do. Gentlemen, he gets up, nods his head, uh, takes the other uh, 600 gold, and... Uh, Gives a little jingle. This will be waiting for you should you should you return. Interesting. Well, what say, what say you guys? Uh, we take the the mountain path or the forest path. Uh, my guy. Well, uh, he seems to want speed without necessarily asking for it. And I like to give Philip whatever he wants. You guys notice as Philip is walking away, I'm, st I'm starting to sound like Philip, like trying to imitate his voice. I suppose we should have asked for him now. That would have been most helpful. Mm -hmm. Is he still walking away? Uh, you guys... Uh can definitely get a map or do we know the area enough to know like the spot they're talking about uh said we've like, been here a while right well i just looked back at the stuff that he's supposed to give you and a map is definitely on that list i just read yeah. over it it's actually the first thing on the list cool <laughs> yes so, so we know the way yes you guys do yeah you guys do know both ways uh it it would take about three days to to reach the ruins um if you can get there faster if you take the steep mountain uh but going by way of the the forest would you would get there in three days hmm. what's the difference the steep side of the hill is uh you could probably shave a day off Would you look at that? He left us a map under our tankings. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, let's, let's get going. Philip was thinking ahead. So to the mountain we head then. To the mountain. Is there one half rope? What's that about rope? Does everyone have it? I have rope. Well, I chose the uh, yeah, pack, and the pack has it. In the oh, gotcha. I do have rope as well. I'm checking on this. Oh my God, I have rope. It's fine. <laughs> Above you is a steep trail that ascends into white-capped peaks. The air stings your lungs, and the snow crunches beneath you. This climb, it won't be easy. Uh, can I ask uh, what 
what does it look like as you guys uh, travel together? Who takes the point? Who's watching the sides? Is anybody keeping an eye on the back? What is what does this look like for you guys? Uh, based on my passive perception, which is impressively high for a barbarian, uh, I just recognize that as I say it out loud. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I will take the lead, being the front man. I'll stay close okay. behind with my uh, passive perception as well. <laughs> but my guy also likes to be social in like a quiet kind of way, so he'll like hunker down like next to somebody, so we're kind of like walking equal. Perfect. What about yeah. what about who? Yeah, I'll take I'll take the to the back. So you guys are like uh, like an opposite flying V kind of. Is that is that what I'm? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, can I get? Do uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and roll this. Okay. Yeah. How much space can I fill up? Like expand to? Uh, like, yeah, I'm a five foot squared space person. Can I fill up the whole square? Like, square foot of, like... I'd say until for some reason I need to say no, you can't do that. <laughs> I was going to be like, I'm going yeah. to protect my friends like Mr. Stretch. Yeah. <laughs> okay, never mind. Okay, okay. Uh, this path up the mountain is just uh, like a steep and, and difficult f- climb. However, the first day is is relatively un- uneventful. Um, you guys do see uh, a, a group of deer meander their way in front of you, uh, kind of giving you guys some curious looks before moving on. Uh, one of... Uh, now, one of them just kind of lingers a little longer, uh, just kind of staring like a deer in headlights, just blinking at you guys. Uh, what do you guys do as these as these deer uh, are passing by? Any? They're just deer. Just just a group of deer. Wait, I, I have a question. Would I have mm-hmm. been in the city most of the time? Uh, I would say probably. Um, Cause I'm assuming, yeah. I'm only like a few years old, right? Yeah. In that case, my guy's like, what? <laughs> Several would probably just put up his hands and kind of wave and just say, like, kind of whisper to himself, hello, friends. Uh, what, what is, what is your guys' passive perceptions? I have a 13. 13. 12, 16. 16. Yeah, okay. Uh, Several, uh, you swear that deer that, like, was lingering a little bit gave you a little wink before he he turned away and and kept walking on. Hmm. Sylvanus looks over us. I lower my bow. As the, as the deers move along off the path, you look you look towards the towards your map, and there's still a whole another day to go. Uh, um, I try yeah. to get the deer to follow us with treats. <laughs> by treats, I mean I like pick up grass off the ground and stuff like that. Not like that treats out of my bag or anything, because I don't think that far ahead. Okay. Uh, who can I get you to roll a D four for me? Always. Yeah, I'll start off strong. <laughs> uh, you guys. Uh, a couple of the deers come back and nibble on the the, the grass that that you yeah. leave, and then, but they they seem to turn around and like bow as a kind gesture before moving along. Uh, you guys uh, 
set up camp that first night. Uh, it's a pretty event, uneventful night. You wake up the next morning and you're continuing on your, your journey and you stumble upon uh, this abandoned camp uh, containing a like tattered tent and, uh, and bedroll uh, along with uh, like the remains of what was a campfire. Uh, burnt wood and uh, a little bit of a little bit of snow lining the top of it. It's it looks to be have been extinguished for at least a day or two. Oh, sorry. Do I need to investigate it, or is that the info I would gather? Uh, I mean, you can you can investigate it if you would like to. Oh, oh I don't have my add on. Yes, guidance. Oh, I guess. It's... Okay, you don't want to do it on me. Don't waste your shit. Actually, if you want to, it's a cantrip. It's a cantrip. <laughs> cool. Does it give me plus one? Uh, it's a it's a D four. D four. Oh, nice. Okay, cool. Well, I'm gonna just roll it because let's be honest. Ooh. Eight. Let's go. Ooh, eighteen. Investigating the fuck out of this place. Uh, so what? What if anything are you are you looking for? Or are you just general investigation general on the information? I just want to kind of assess what could what could have been here camping, because uh, there are many different species in the world. I am a very curious sure. creature. Okay. So I mean, it could be anything. Like, did as far as wildlife interacting with the camp after they had left, that would be interesting enough for my character. So that little of information. It would probably be something that Sibyl's guidance would help with, I would imagine. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, so I'll say with a, with an 18 investigation, this this looks like it was the camp of a of a traveling merchant. Uh, someone decided to brave the the mountain pass, uh, and it got the better of them. Oh. Uh, with the the snow coming down, it's really tough to pick up on any sort of tracks or or anything like that. But you notice that you don't see any sort of uh, trunk or anything to keep wares in. Uh, but a a couple papers of uh, like inventory and things like that. It's a tough journey up here. I suppose it got the better of him. Unfortunate situation. Is that a list of stuff he had? Oh, what's on that list? Uh, on the list uh, is uh, lists of the inventory that he had. Um, he had like 10 sets of clothing from uh, the the town of wispy peak um he had a couple short swords um a couple shields some crossbows uh bolts to go along with them uh it looks like pretty standard adventuring gear that he was transporting from the 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 town of wispy peak to uh, by river. Looks like a ring of warmth would have done you a little bit. Booch. <laughs> Didn't have the rope. That was his problem. <sighs> well, shall we continue? We shall. Oh yeah, this wasn't the like the end of the day, right? We just stumbled upon this. Yeah, no, this is like in in the morning. Oh, cool. Beginning. Yeah. Of the, so the, you guys traveled a day already, encountered the, the herd of deer on day one. Mm-hmm. Second day, you wake up and find this, this camp. Um, a, uh, like a dense fog has slowly settled in, in the morning. It's extremely quiet around you guys. All sound being dampened by the, the trees and the snow. As you guys uh, are 
cruising along. Uh, you nearly run into a long stretched cord running between two trees, some sort of trip wire, but several with your passive perception being a 16, you spot it. And beyond this one, you notice even more surrounding you is a whole web of trip wires. And from the trees, you hear, ah, so close. Get him! As three red scaly creatures drop to the ground, weapons at the ready. Oh boy. And I'm going to have you guys roll some initiative for me. Oh shit. Well, you don't have a token up here yet, so that's yeah. all good. You click on the draw. Huh? <laughs> Uh, I believe you need the extension to have it all linked together. Let's go. I just keep using this again. So the kobolds are definitely not surprised, but they rolled a one on their initiative. So you guys are going to go first. Uh, it looks like uh, Dizzy with a 19. You're going to be the, the first to act. Uh, you guys do see the red lines on the screen, right? Yep. Those are the, the trip wires. Uh, you guys see yourselves. You see the kobolds. Uh, Dizzy, you're the first to move. What do you do? Uh, yeah, yeah. The the grid is still the the grid. One square is five feet. You can move that five feet in any direction, diagonal, straight, whatever you. Tree or something, right? Uh, yeah, that is a tree right there. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. 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 Um, I am. I am going to. I'm going to rage. Uh, As is tradition. Yeah, so he's going to be like, this is it, this is my moment. And so <laughs> he like, kind of slaps his face real quick. like, And then goes to run in for him. Diagonal all the way is always five feet, or do you do the... Uh, no, five five feet is five feet. You can cheese it. I'm not really, not really trying to... Alright, I'm swinging on him. Uh, I also am using a regular... I'm, like, all geared out. That's it. Like, I'm wearing clothing. Yeah. With, an, uh, with a battle axe. Or great axe, I mean. Okay, as you come around the corner, uh, you you hear this little guy for the glory of Haldraxis, yeah! As he brandishes a dagger. Okay, I'm gonna swing. Oh, Send wait, it. I just rolled an 18 on the other side. Now I'm gonna get a two. Oh wait, no, and I realized I have a plus six, so. Oh, see, I did. I got. But, I mean, did you rolled on you rolled on beyond and got an eighteen? Yeah, but it's fine. I don't want to do the plug in, so. I mean, I can I can just look at the beyond roll sheet. Oh, is that how that works? Yeah, I can do that. Oh, 
so yeah, we yeah we'll use we'll use that eighteen. Oh man, my computer is just going nutty. Oh, yep, there it is. I see that 18 right there. Uh, yeah, so you come around, he said, like, Four Hadrexes! And you're like, Blah, connect with him, give me some damage. Cool. And as I hear, I say, Sit down, Muppet. <laughs> What's a Muppet? Puppet, puppet, man, puppet. Puppet. Uh, so what does it, what does it look like as you kill this guy? Um, I like to think he, I'm coming around the corner and kind of in a surprising manner. I'm not necessarily coming in totally calculated. Okay. So he comes around the corner just kind of wildly swinging, and it just so happens to cut right through. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> What's a block? Yeah, he's also like a, uh, in a rage, so. Uh, Completely unfocused slaughter. Perfect. Uh, so that was bonus action to go into a rage. Uh, you use your action to come around and, and cleave him up. Yeah, if you want to move, you can. Uh, I think I have like 5 feet. Oh, wait. I have 30 feet moving, right? 30 feet? Yeah, 30 feet. Right there. We're good. Perfect. Uh, Sivril, that brings us to you. Okay, so Sivril's going to move up to here. And he's going to uh, use shape water, if that works on snow, and just make a five-foot wall of snow in front of... Uh, uh, I can't remember your character's name off the top of my head. <laughs> uh, Rhodes' character. Oh. Uh, it's just dizzy. Dizzy, that's right. Okay, it's right there in front of my face. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna put a five foot wall of snow in front of Dizzy just to block view of him, if possible. Okay. And then I'm gonna use a uh, face step as a bonus action to uh, go right over here and oh. kind of just start behind the rock. Okay. And that'll be it. For me. Who that brings us to you? Uh, the tripwires. How far are they off the ground? Uh, they're fairly low to the ground. All right. And how tall are the trees? Uh, the trees are uh, varying in height. They're they're uh, like evergreen trees. So some of them are like twenty feet. Some of them are like forty feet. I think I'm just, I'm just gonna hop along and uh, hang out behind the sea. And I guess I do. I have sight. I guess I kind of can see. Well, yeah, you, you definitely have vision on this one here. All right, we'll we'll take a pull out the old longbow and we'll take we'll take a shot at him. Okay. Ooh, 21 yeah 21 will definitely hit and a nine is enough to end this little hydraxian cobalt what does this look like as you come whipping around the tree uh i'm gonna do a jump shot like side jump kind of like you see in the movies like where they're taking my like, like gun shots hell yeah <laughs> what's the landing look like uh not great not great. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Like I'll, I'll fall and just kind of. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, yeah. I love it. Wait, wait. Do mm. I see this happening? Mm. Uh, it's. it's like right me, right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. 
we just make awkward, or I guess you don't have eyes, so we make awkward face contact. Yeah, but you can definitely see where I'm looking, though. There, there's mm-hmm. no obvious direction. If you see my facial structure, I'm about to, like, say something excitement. Like, you can go and reach me. I know that's, uh, I'll, I'll get up and that's the rest of my turn. You guys all like center your focus onto this last remaining kobold who like looks at the two that just got slain, looks them down and see that there is a tripwire between you and him and goes ah! and just starts running away as fast as he possibly can. What if I just run through the tripwire? You can run through the tripwire if if you want. It is your turn next. Does he make it off grid? He does make it off off map, but he's got uh yeah, I mean I'll let him. Okay. I ain't gonna catch him. It'd be like fuck it, four or five turns before it comes, if that. Yeah, he is he is dashing for sure, so yeah. um uh, but all that, I definitely do say, like, guys, we're like a real adventuring screw. <laughs> Super excited. Uh, what, uh, what do you guys do after the, the kobold runs away? Can I fly up there and try to take a pot shot at him? I don't know if he's 600 or mm. I don't know what the little number 600 is for a lot of bones. So there's- that, is, that is your maximum amount that you can shoot. So there should be two numbers there. One of them, the first one, 150. Anything, yeah. anything within 150 feet is normal. Anything past 150 feet, you have disadvantage. Yeah, I'll kind of try to take a pot shot up. Uh, yeah, sure. Disadvantage? Uh, no, it would take him a couple turns to get 160 feet away from you, so just a... a sh- can I, like, chuck him into the air on my turn? <laughs> you, you certainly can. So he has, like, the aerial advantage? He also flies. So you yeah. can, yeah, you can, yeah, you can just give him the, the shoot for sure. So actually, that would give you advantage because you're getting the help action from somebody. All right, sounds good. Cool. Uh, yeah, but... Well, I, I don't want to just cut uh, several out of this. So, oh, is there is there anything that several you would like to do before the shot goes off? I cast guidance, but I don't think that'll help. That's all I can really do in this scenario. Yeah, I think I think isn't guidance touch? Uh, probably. I think it's only ability checks anyway. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, that is touch. So I can't okay. really do much. <laughs> okay. Uh, so from the other side of the rock, you see, uh, like you hear a whoop and, uh, see this, this little owl go flying up into the air. Uh, go ahead and take, take the shot. Who? Ah, 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 ah. He plants into the snow. I'll just kind of flip back down. You land far more gracefully from that shot than you did the other. All in a day's work, boys. Well done, gentlemen. My guy's like, I don't even know who I am. We're on your way to becoming a great adventurer. Let's make sure. I'm a hero. Did you see what we did? <laughs> That's it. That's it. <laughs> uh, so uh, you guys just walk over the the dead kobolds and and carry on like the wayward son. No, oh, no, we gotta check them. Make sure they ain't got no memorabilia. I would like to take a bagger, if possible. Yeah, totally. Can I throw a rock at one of the trip fires, like way up here and far away, so I can see what it does? Sure. Uh, you uh, you definitely can uh, collect a, a, a dagger, several. Um, as you're going 
through you also notice that he has a little uh like a red dragon scale on his person as well Uh, as you throw a, uh, a rock at the tripwire and it bah, snaps, uh, a, like part of the, one of the dead trees comes dislodged and it goes swinging through, uh, between the trees, smashing into the other one. Uh, it looks like it would, it would, it would have done a little bit of damage, but it looks like you could also maybe dodged out of the way too. <laughs> Man, it sucks. All this work, and they just yeah, not their dinner. <laughs> just mop up. Like <laughs> uh, as you guys uh, check out the 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 kobolds bodies, uh, you you can, there's three daggers amongst them, three slings as well. I know uh, several like claim to one of the daggers. Uh, they each had a dragon. Uh, a red dragon scale on their person as well. Mm. Do take all the scales. I'll take all the daggers if no one else wants any. <laughs> yeah, that's upside down. Uh, question. Can I put stuff into my body? True story. I'm gonna say no. That just seems, yeah, yeah. Mm. Mm. Question, right? My grandma was a gelatinous cube, so, you know, like, I just, you know, pull it in there, you know. Yeah. Oh, I don't, I don't, oh, I don't know, I don't know. You're learning. I don't know. <laughs> um, I'm just going to keep getting more and more creative, so. I, I mean, I'm here for it, for sure. Uh... On this second day of, of travel, uh, you guys continue up the path uh, closer and closer uh, until the ruins of the old mountain temple stand before you. Uh, it's a surprise that the building's still standing. Uh, the foundation remains, but the ceiling and walls have almost all collapsed. Uh, rubble litters the clearing, providing lots of cover. Can I, or what do you guys think about me flying up? Yes. Oh, yeah. Just kind of just taking a look. Always, my guy is always fearful of your safety because you're a bird and you're not in the sky. That's true. That's my guy's logic right there. I kind of, I was just afraid to be kind of out in the open most of the time. So I hear kind of, you. Yeah, I guess I'm a little bit. Yeah. So if that's, I'll, I'll scout a little bit. Uh, as you guys arrive, you notice that Haldraxxus is nowhere to be seen. Um, of course he left already. We scared him away. Well, job's done. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you see the, the, the temple is just covered in like dust, snow, and rubble. Um, uh, who, as you fly up, um, you see that uh, as you look down into the the temple ruins, uh, you see like uh, destroyed religious uh, iconography and like crumbling stone, uh, lots of random ropes chilling around. Uh, yeah, that's that's what you would see from uh, up above, right there. Awesome! I'll fall back down. Looks looks clear. I don't I don't see anything see anything moving in there. Hmm. Philip did say that the dragon was expected to come here. Should we hide so we can get the drop on him? He probably doesn't expect us here quite yet. What's hiding? Getting some bushes, some trees, something like mm. that. To... Mm. Mm. What if I just stand out there and wait? I mean, you could make yourself bait if you feel comfortable with that. 
Yes. Like, I mean, we we do have three hundred gold. I'm um, even with our gold. I'm just realizing that the the map is uh, backwards. Uh, so like. We're supposed to be on the other side. Yes, you're supposed to be on the other side. Oh, so cool. We came in on the right side, guys. Let's do it. This this is actually like a wall in front of where you're standing. See this. Do you want us to move us to, or do you want us to move ourselves? Uh, if you guys wanted to move yourselves, that'd be great. I'm gonna put a little wall right here. Uh, right now, yeah. it's a much better angle. Uh, from looking inside the the temple, um, you do notice that there is uh, something laying on the uh, the altar on the at, <gasps> at the back of the temple. What is it? Tell me what it is. Well, if you want to go check it out, you certainly can. Yeah, my guy, as I said, oh, okay. so, so I mean, let's all go. Circle's going to hide behind walls as we make our way up there. As much of a wall as he can. Sure. Does it look like a dragon did all the damage, or like old and time did the damage? Uh, a little of column A, a little of column B. Okay, cool. Guys, I think the dan the dragon did some of this damage. I say that okay. even if it's painfully honest. As you uh, as you get closer to the the altar on in the back of the temple, uh, you see that the what is catching your eye over there is uh, some sort of amulet. Mm. Shiny thing on the altar. Can I touch it? You should touch it. <laughs> <laughs> it's the most logical course of action, I would say. Wait, is that the druid telling me that? Yes. <laughs> okay, I immediately touch it then. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, let me get I to... I to happen, so it like blows my hand off and I just regurgitate another one. Silverall's also standing behind a wall as he says that. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I don't know, you should touch it. Slowly backs around the pillar. Uh, I don't think anything immediately happens. I'm trying to get to my page with that on it. All right, while well, he's getting to his page, I'm going to back away. <laughs> I'm gonna grab another soda. I know you're doing a lot right now, uh, but are druids able to ritual cast stuff, or is that exclusively for wizards? Uh, I'm pretty sure druids can too, as long as it has like a ritual thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like the ritual okay. tag. I want to see what happens. I might, I might do a ritual spell if. If I can after this. We're still waiting to see okay. if I died. Yeah. Uh as you touch it, uh mm -hmm. it is it is warm in your hands. Uh it is a uh golden amulet with this ruby red center uh that kind of flickers like torchlight. Um guys, guys, it's warm. It's warm. What does that mean? You can feel warmth. Druid, it's warm. What do I do? <laughs> <laughs> I'm can I let happen. go? Can I let go? Uh, just, just set it down. As it happens, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ca ritually oh. cast detect magic if I can. I haven't picked it up yet. I hope that's clear. I'm only touching it. My fingers on it. Yeah, it's warm, warm to the touch. Actually, I'm gonna say it's not even like a, a hand. It's like one. I've formed it into one tiny little finger nub. <laughs> touching it. Perfect. Okay. 
So what do you want me to do? You want me not touch it now? Uh, just, just step away, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna try something. Yeah, I'm gonna. Did anything happen? I'm gonna start ritually casting detect magic. Uh, and so that takes you ten minutes, right? But it, ten minutes, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so ten minutes goes by. You, uh, you cast detect detect magic. Uh, it is, uh, it is 100% a magical amulet. Um, detect magic also gives you like the school of magic, yes. right? Uh, I believe I'm, I'm just going to say evocation. And it covers a lot of, of, of things. So I can yeah. That. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Well, from what I can tell, that thing could either heal us or hurt us. I, I mean. It's a 50 50 shot. Mm-hmm. Or judging by its, well, judging by its warmth, I'm going to say hurt us would, would be the logical conclusion. Is magic not warm? It can be. Usually when it deals with fire, though. I've never known fire to heal people. As you say fire, you know, you look at the ruby on the center and it like flickers. You see that? But my intuitions are correct then. <laughs> what, uh, if it, what if it gives me fire? Uh, do I know if uh, I don't? I might need to roll an arcana check. Do I know that like uh, magic items might be activated with a command word of some sort? Uh, yeah, I would say that's that that fairly common knowledge. <clears throat> But you know that not all magic items uh, require attunement. Not all of them require, like, uh, a word. Not all of them. They're all different. I'd say that's 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 common knowledge. I'm going to say, uh, well, some, some items uh, activate with the command word. It seemed like the word fire, so perhaps start shouting some, some words. Um. I speak Dwarvish. I, I, I yell fire and Dwarvish. Uh, as you yell fire and Dwarvish, it, uh, it seems to understand the even the different dialect, and it gives an extra little flicker when fire is mentioned. Mm-hmm. What if I say cast fire? Okay, never mind. Don't, because I'm going to go down a rabbit hole you don't want me to. That's... That, so we're just going to end that one right there. <laughs> Unless that casts fire, by chance. It definitely casts a flicker in the ruby of the oh, amulet. That's exactly what we were seeing before, right? Exactly. <laughs> I'm going to step out from behind the wall and shout how Drax is... Uh... It explodes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you notice nothing. Uh, nothing changes about the amulet when you yell uh, Haldraxis. However, you do hear. That's what I saw was coming. Very far off in the distance. Mm. I'm gonna go back behind the wall and make my way to this tree or bush, whatever's over here. <laughs> uh. I will say, uh, with your passive, you definitely see uh, several start like looking around uh, off into the the skies, uh, and you see him bounce up out of the the temple real quick. Wish we said something. Oops. <laughs> I'm gonna. I mean, I'm gonna scoop up. Or do you want to? Did you grab the hamlet? I did not, no. I'll grab it. If you tell me to grab it, I'll grab it. Like if okay, okay yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, I, I immediately grab it. Yeah, as as uh, you guys kind of lock eyes with each other, like, where where is he going? Uh, now the two of you also here, far in the distance. Hi. I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to go to the street. Um, okay. <laughs> uh, 
does is come out here with us. Oh wait, can I not? Oh yeah, there's like a... I grabbed the amulet and I did. <laughs> Where do you go? Well, if I take all my clothes off and I just lay on the ground, it looks like a rock. <laughs> It's a little, it's a little in the adventure to uh, <laughs> get naked like that. That's my secret weapon. I don't want to use it so early. Uh, anybody that is uh, is hiding, go ahead and roll me a stealth with advantage. Is this like a bunch of rubble that I could maybe like hide in the corner over here? I don't want to be that close sure. To I'm panicking right now. I run over here. I hope this is like a shadowy area and I try to hide. Okay. 13. Guys, I'm so good at stealth. <laughs> you see that? I hope you see that. Yeah, that's a three, my guy. That is a three. <laughs> <laughs> Barbarian doing barbarian things. What can I say? <laughs> I'm here for it. In the room, dude, with the amulet. Uh, okay. Uh, you begin to feel wind gusts from above as. <laughs> The flapping of these enormous leathery wings precedes a red dragon, roughly the size of a, a house. Haldraxus has arrived. He lands on top of the crumbling structure, his claws clutching the stone, his eyes sharp, orange, just like darting around looking for anyone that might be coming. Is he looking at me by chance? Uh, as he darts around. I, see, like, I obviously see him coming, right? Do I have an opportunity to run, or is this all happening within like his quote turn? Right? Uh, I to, like, so, I like, mean, see. you are, yeah, you, you did try to hide. Right, uh, that's what I'm asking. Like, is he coming in and he's like looking right at me and you, I know that he's already seen me, or is it like a... Because my guy's definitely in the maybe he's the T Rex. Maybe if I sit get, still, people will see me. Uh, give me, give me an insight. Cool, cool. That's, I could do that. Do that. Oh, so I'm in the pro. Oh my god. Okay, well I'm in the pro. It's a seven. Um. <laughs> I mean. Roll twenty. You uh. Probably in the same boat. Cool. I'm panicking. Yeah, yeah you are. <laughs> you're like, oh man. Uh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, I I feel like it's almost like you're like, all right, yeah, I'm hidden, I'm hidden, I'm hidden, I'm hidden, and then he like lands and starts looking around. You're like, I gotta go, and just like you like get get up and just like pause real quick as he like you think he's like gonna he looks your direction, uh, and he just like poof, locks eyes on you. Uh, okay, I still actually I just stay still and wait till he responds. I will say, at this exact moment, he is surprised to see you. So, we can roll initiative, and you guys will have a surprise round at this exact point right now. I'm gonna, can I base huh? that, my reaction uh, on my insight, on whether I'm I recognize okay. that he's surprised or not? Uh, I will say on a seven insight, I don't know that you notice that he is fully surprised. Not necessarily fully surprised, but I recognize like an ounce of surprise in his face. Like, huh? Right? Uh, yeah, I will say there, you, you do see a, a just a, like an eyebrow come up, like, Cool, then huh. I don't see a chance to get away without a fight, so I'm a, I'm gonna try and scare <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> like when he sees me, I'm gonna go poof. It's balloon up. <laughs> puffer fish. Balloon up, yeah, puffer fish. Yes. Oh, that is such a good idea. 
Export Inc. Sorry, we're rolling initiative. I'm really uh, <laughs> yes, yes, we're we're rolling initiative. Oh, <laughs> I need to come back to rolling on roll twenty here. That's two net ones. That's good, guys. The point of you guys getting a surprise round is so you have like two turns before they go, you know? <laughs> nah, dude, nah. You seem to have been equally surprised. <laughs> <laughs> fair, fair enough. <laughs> Uh, what's your uh, what's your dex there, uh, Dizzy? Uh, my dex. Oh, are you waiting on me? You're not waiting on me, right? No. Uh, Haldraxis also got a ten on initiative, so I need to figure Ooh, out. So mm -hmm. I got a, I got a plus, or my dex is thirteen. I got a plus one. Okay, so you will go before Haldraxis then. Make sure you know what's up. Roll 20, come on. Where you at? There. Uh, and with the eyebrow knocked up, uh, Dizzy, you are you are the first to act. If you would like to uh, use an action to, to puffer fish and try to intimidate him, that is totally something that you can do. We are... I got everything on Mozilla. I got the plug-in now. We're moving over. I got my character sheet out, so I'm trying to lock in over here. I am going to... Do you want me to roll Intimidate for the boo? Or can I just... Is he much higher on the ramparts than I am? Uh, yeah, he is He is on the, 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 the roof, but like, there's clear clear line of sight down there. Would I be able to go like swing on him? Um, I think he might be a little too high. I'd say he's probably about 20 feet up in the air right now. So if you can, it, you got a whole turn. If you can find a way to get, get up there, then hundred percent you can swing on him. What I'm going to do, I got to find my friends because right now I don't even know where they are. So uh, I think I'm going to throw a javelin. Okay. At him. Can I, can I intimidate and throw a javelin or is intimidate one, an action? Uh, so you can intimidate post javelin. Uh, if you hit. You get advantage if you miss disadvantage. How about that? On the intimidate? Mm -hmm. Oh, with or the intimidate. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to chuck the javelin and then attempt to. One, two, three. Where's it? Oh, sorry. So yeah, I chucked the javelin if this would ever load. I don't know why it's not loading my character sheet. Go edge. You want me to see if I can open it up? Um, well, Ed was working, and then I switched it over to Mozilla as soon as it started loading, quote unquote, and it loads the DD beyond bar at the top, but then just keeps transferring data. Roll 20 is now on there. 
I got the add-on for extension installed now, so it's like ready to be used. I got it all set up, but now... Or is it Beyond 20? Or D&D Beyond that's killing me? There's no edges that you pulling my character up. I mean, I... It's working fine for me. Okay. I mean, if you want to roll it for me, I guess. I mean, it... Can you oh, just yeah. like? Tell me, yeah, tell me what the bonus is. Like. Yeah, it's just a it's a plus six to hit with the javelin. Oh, it's still a plus six. Mm-hmm. Take it. Okay. It's rolling. Two. We hit these. <laughs> uh, yeah, you definitely connect with uh with Haldraxis for sure. Okay. Uh, what's my damage? One d six, right? Uh, yeah, d six plus four. Plus four. Six points of damage as you cock back and just shoot it out of you. And then I also want to, as I do that, I say, hey, get down from there. Intimidation. <laughs> okay. What's my intimidate roll? Uh... Oh, I get advantage, right? You do get advantage, uh, and your intimidation is a plus one. Oh, I can hit two. Type it out, Chris. Come. Ooh, so, so a twenty. Eight and a twenty. Nice. Uh, as you just pierce him with this this uh, this javelin. Uh, it's like sticking out of his shoulder, uh, and his his brow goes from like up to just like slanted, like <laughs> he mad now, um, and like breathes. And I also <laughs> huh? Nothing. I was just like he just like breathes some smoke out of his nose, uh, and you and you hear, I'll burn you to cinders. Uh, and with that, we move to to whose turn? He's still, oh, I see he's still. All right. Uh, can I? I guess. I guess I'll. Can I, I don't know. I'll fly up so I can. Oh, actually, I can move right here and see. Never mind. Uh, I'm just going to peek through the rubble. Okay. And. Uh, I'll, uh, yeah, I'll take a shot. Yeah, go for it. Uh, yeah, tw- you guys are good at hitting with 25. Uh, and I'll just say, burn on this. I'll- <laughs> okay. Uh, and then I'll use my uh, favorite foe. Okay. So I concentrate on him for a minute. And then the first time on each of my turns, oh, could I have done this? Oh, no. So I've never done this before, favorite foe. So when when you hit with an attack roll, you can mark it. So it's like the next turn. Yeah, okay. So yeah, next next time I hit, I'm, I, it's like an extra one. Before. Okay. And then I'm going to get away from this window. Fair enough. Taking some cover back behind the wall there again. Yeah, let's go like right here. Okay. Uh, is that going to be it for your turn? It is. Thank you. Then, Sivril, we come to you. Okay, so I'm going to run up 25 feet up to here to get into range of uh, uh, Dizzy there. I'm going to cast Long Strider on him. On Dizzy? Well, yep. Yeah. And then I'm just okay. going to take cover behind this, uh, five feet over behind this wall. All right, so Dizzy, you uh, for another hour, you get uh, an increased 10 feet of movement on your turn. So, do your legs just get longer? How does that work? 100%. Teach <laughs> <laughs> him how to Naruto run. Did you just give me, like, more ooze? Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. 
don't even need a spell for it. He just has a jar of ooze that every now and then like gives it to me. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's not a pinch of dirt. It's just like a little like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, several is that is that it for you? Is as uh, yeah. That is that is it for me. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so we have uh, we're going back to the top with uh, with Dizzy once again. You got you feel like you can really stretch them legs out now. Uh, Aldraxis has a, a a javelin coming out of his shoulder and an arrow peeking peeking out of his peck. Uh, as his, like, just, there's smoke just barreling out of his nose now. Alright, well, I got another one of them fuckers lined right up. <laughs> I got four javelins, we're down to three. Uh, and I feel the speed now within me, and I chuck another javelin. Okay. Ooh, the twelve. Oh, well, I don't know if that hits, but uh, you you throw the javelin. It feels like it's about to be good, and his wing comes down, <laughs> cracks it, uh, and it falls to the ground. You miss your attack. I say, "Oh, you're learning," and then I jump out the window. <laughs> oh yeah. Or the doorway or whatever this is. Oh yeah. And I go right behind the several, and I go, "I got him good." Yes, good. Yes, he did. Oh. <laughs> well, that's not good. <laughs> just mad. Keep at him. Keep at him. Well, just, can you guys talk a little bit louder, please? <laughs> just talk again. Yeah, this is Uh-oh. That doesn't sound good. <laughs> yeah, now I'm just waiting here. So... I think you pissed him off, Dizzy. He... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, he's coming. <laughs> I wave. Just, poof, he lands uh, right next to you guys. Uh, and the smoke barreling out of his nose, all of a sudden, poof, gets sucked back in uh, as he opens his gaping mouth and you see a bit of fire begin to spiral. Uh I need the two of you to make me a dex save, please. I can hold my breath for an hour. Does that mean anything? <laughs> my breath has to hurt less. <laughs> no, I don't think so. A dex save, he said? Dex save, please. Dex save. I don't know why I rolled that twice, but here we go. Wait, do I have advantage? No, I don't know. There's no way. But a death scene? Because I'm a news? That makes sense. It's gonna hurt. Uh, on a uh, 7 and a 20, uh, Haldrax says, Whoa! I'll burn you all to cinders. Uh, and the the twenty, you're going to take uh, half damage at five. Uh, dizzy with the seven, you're going to take a full ten points of fire damage. Uh, are you still holding the amulet? I am absolutely still holding it. What? Uh, you f- you you feel it like in in your hand, kind of like like a little heartbeat like give me an insight check if you would please okay. it's like put me on I'll heal you uh it definitely you get the you like I should probably put this thing on <laughs> yep okay question for you hmm huh. Uh, who that brings us to your turn? Uh, we're we are we are swinging. Bring it on. Hmm. 
was a 13. I feel like it's gotta be close. Uh, so you knock your arrow, you let it go, uh, you shoot it. Uh, he like wh- takes his fire breath off of the your 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 friends and just finishes up as uh, the like the arrowhead like nicks him in the forehead, but through the fire the the trajectory was nulled down. It did not hit. Gotcha. Uh, up here, is this like a... Like, can I hide? But still... Oh, no, uh-huh. it's probably gonna be. I'm just gonna... Yeah, I'm just gonna hide like, over here. Okay, so just take some cover back there? Yeah. For sure. You are definitely out of the line of sight of Helldrax's. Uh, is that the end of your turn? Yes, sir. All right, several. You just uh, you you took took some damage from that that fire breath. Uh, what are you gonna do next? Yeah, that hurt. So I'm gonna throw this dagger I just got okay. right at him. Uh, so that's gonna be twenty four. Okay. For six piercing damage. All right. Uh, so you just, boom, you hit him with this dagger. Uh, it it catches him right at, right across his his shoulder, uh, right right where that javelin was, uh, opening that wound a little deeper, uh, and dropping both the javelin and the dagger to the ground there. Sweet. I'm gonna uh, pat Dizzy on the shoulder and say, "Good luck, friend," <laughs> and I'm gonna leave. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get behind this wall and take some cover. Okay. And uh, that's going to be it for my turn. Dizzy, that means we come back to you. Okay, so my question is, I'm going to put the amulet on, right? Mm-hmm. I'm also going to attempt to drink a potion because I got a potion, Yeah. Can I do that in the same turn? Uh, yeah, I'll say putting the action or uh, putting the amulet on is a free action. Um, okay. drinking a potion on your own, uh, I'm going to say for these sessions, uh, is a bonus action, um, to give a potion to someone else and have them drink it is still a full action. So because it's so easy to just kind of shove a potion into my body, could it always be a bonus action even for somebody else? Mm, I'm going to say that's situational. It could be argued. If you're naked, sure. Cool. Are you naked currently? No, I thought about it. Okay. I am, yeah, definitely still off on my person. Uh, a healing potion's yeah. two two d four plus two. So go ahead and roll. Two d four plus two. Two d four plus two. Are you a custom roll here again? Uh, on. Roll twenty. Uh, the ad- okay. What was it? Plus what? Two D four plus two D four plus two. Yeah. Five. Five health. Uh, so as you, yeah, you put that amulet on. You get a uh, a sense of warmth about you. Um. You take that potion back, uh, and you you regain five points of health. Uh, your ooze is flowing. Um, what do you do next? And I oh, I can't rage. No, that is a bonus action. Is. Um, you do have ten extra feet of movement still. Mm-hmm. I need to make a concentration for that. Oh, do you? Yeah, I think so. Um, no, it's not a concentration. Is it not? Nope. It just lasts for an hour. Perfect. Let's see. <laughs> Which is good. That is very good. <laughs> <laughs> I just assume all druids spell for concentration. Uh, okay, so a I'm lot of them are. Him, 
And I'm gonna go, wow, your bracelet feels so good. Thanks for giving it to me. And I go right back inside. <laughs> I'm actually trying to run all the way across the room. Yeah, I'm going to go right here. And then I'm going to wait for it. Okay. Because I don't have... I, that's pretty much my action and my bonus action I've already used, right? Yes. Yeah, so I'm kind of just waiting. Thanks. Uh, as Heldraxxus peels off flying around the, the temple, uh, he, he catches, uh, who in his peripherals and tries to, uh, flick you with his tail, uh, as he, as he goes by, uh, that is a 20 to hit. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm going to need you to take or uh, you take four points of, of bludgeoning damage as the tail hits you. And I need you to make a strength saving throw for me, please, as well. On a 13, unfortunately, that doesn't save. And as the tail hits you, you also fall prone. Uh, as you see him peel up uh, into the air and land back, boom, on top of the temple once again. Uh, that is the end of his turn. Who? That brings us to you. All right, so I'll get up. So that's half my movement, right? Correct. Can I, how, how tall is this? Like if I fly, uh, it's about, can I see him? it's about, uh, I said the roof is like 20 feet above the, the floor. So it's about 20 feet up. All right. I'll, uh, I think I'm just going to move back this way. 15 feet. Okay. Actually, I didn't know where it was. Uh, so yeah, I guess I'll take a, I'll take a shot on. Okay. Yeah. Peer around the corner and let an arrow go for sure. Uh, the arrow uh, flies through the air. Uh, it seems to nick him a little bit, but not enough to cause any damage. Okay. Uh, several, that brings us to you. Okay, so I got a question. This uh, pillar that's laying on the ground underneath him, mm -hmm. if I was to jump up on top of that, how high would that get me off the ground? Uh, about five feet. Okay. So I'm trying to cast Thunder Wave. It's a 15-foot cube. Would that hit him, or is that just out of range? Uh, yeah, I'd say that. Yeah, if you get up on the, the pillar, um, you could even like jump and cast it. Okay. And I'm and gonna, for sure hit him. I'm trying to get like right underneath him and cast Thunder Wave. Okay. Uh, so that is a Constitution saving throw from him, right? Correct. Yeah. That's like the worst damage I could have got. Too. Oh. Uh. So that is a that is a he got a he got a fourteen. Uh. Okay. So does he still take half damage? Or, uh, yeah, half damage, yeah, and no, yeah. and no push. That sucks. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, so yeah, he he does. He definitely feels it though, um, as he lets out a 
and actually that Not secured objects are thrown so i don't know if that affects anything thunder wave so thunder damage is loud right yeah it's yeah. an audible boom within 300 feet uh as you like <clears throat> let out this thing uh you're not sure it doesn't feel like your thunder wave was like like you've done stronger thunder waves before but something about this caught him caught him extremely off guard um and he immediately <laughs> shoots off into the air uh using his reaction to just fly straight up uh he looks down like with uh with your passive perception, you see that uh, there's a look on his face like you you just scared him a little bit. Um, oh, yeah. As he uh, just the face goes from like terror to like anger as he's like Yeah, go ahead. Is there any of the ceiling thing that's still intact? Uh, yeah, I will say you blew away a good chunk of it. Uh, as like little shingles and stuff that were left over uh, are kind of just like falling on the ground uh, around you guys. Okay, I'm going to slide underneath whatever's left and try to like take some cover. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, that's it in my turn. Uh, Dizzy, that brings us to you. So he's still back up to where he started, right? Uh, he is actually uh, like 40 feet above that now. Oh, okay. So can I see him very well? Oh, yeah. You see him clear as, clear as day. And I can't get up there very well, right? Well, he's, he's flying 40 feet above the roof. So he's like 60 feet above you. I'm just going to wait. Not right here, but uh, I'm going to throw my my third javelin at him. Okay. I'm going to rage. Then throw my javelin at this. Okay. Um... Actually, it says I have 30 feet. How far is he from me? 60. That's disadvantage. We're doing it anyway. Because I'm raging and I don't give a fuck. Look at them rolls. Oh, those weren't too bad. Why did they roll so bad? Oh. <laughs> um, okay, the... Well, as the still misses. Yeah. The 19th is right. Uh, so you, you huck that javelin. Uh, and it like, it's flying. It looks like it's, it's sailing true. Uh, and he just whoosh, out of the air with his, with his tail smacks the javelin down. Uh, it teeters on the what's left of the roof before falling down, landing there next to, uh, next to several. I say, get down here, lizard. Uh, do you have anything else for your turn? Uh, give me, uh, give me another intimidation check. Mm, don't mind if I do. Huh. Uh, well. <laughs> okay. Uh, as you, uh, stand there shaking your fist at him, uh, you see his, his eyes like dart around, uh, before his eyes go from, you towards the direction of by river the dragon the dragon looks back at you up the mountain a bit more and begins to take off through the air soaring p past the what seems to be the peaks disappearing into the fog fools he bellows the city of by river will pay for this 
you know for a fact how Draxus is wounded, but far from defeated. His lair must be nearby. If you find it, you could possibly end him once and for all. As you guys get to level two. Hell yeah. Bitch. Guys, I got a I got a question for you. Do you do yes. optional What do you mean? Like do you know how you can turn on optional features and stuff? Yeah. Okay. I, I was gonna turn mine on. Uh yeah, I, I turned all mine on. Yeah, <laughs> no, no, I, I yeah, I I let you guys go uh go with that for sure. Pretty sure that's how I got a plasma. Yeah, to its circle. All right, so what do I get now? Nothing. Pretty sure barbarians get jack shit though. Wow, shape, baby. Yeah. Oh, are we rolling HP? That is up to you. You can either take the average or you can uh, or you can roll it. I'm rolling my HP. How do I roll it again? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's just your hit die. No, can I just... Uh... <laughs> well, we barbarian. Oh, we got danger set. Yeah. Mm, yep, yep. And reckless attack. Did you say you reroll ones on uh, rolling it HP? Uh, I said if you if you roll a one, you can take the average. So I'm gonna do that. Cool. Do I really get a one d ten? Seems real good. As a uh, ranger, yeah. Seems solid. All right. Let's do our manual. Oof. Manage HP. Hell yeah. Okay, so my first one is 12, right? So roll my second one. Oh, wait, I didn't even go. It's not HP modifier, right? I didn't roll my first one. Uh, your first, first one is maxed. Yeah, your first one's always maxed. Bruh. Oof. That's embarrassing. Oh, we have 15 HP. <laughs> level 2. Well, before my constitution. Congratulations oh, yeah. on reaching level 2. <laughs> we survived. <laughs> <laughs> I would care more if I cared more about HP. Like, a lot of HP is good for a barbarian, but, like, that's not his bread and butter, you know? Very true. Is this a fart song? Or yeah, what are we it is. Right now? <laughs> we're just farting around, and we're going to end the, the session right here. Uh, you guys rock. I appreciate you. I can't wait till uh, we can continue on with this, uh, this journey next time. Uh, if you're watching online, thank you. We appreciate you. Uh, say bye, guys. Okay. Later, everyone. See you guys. <laughs>